I tell you what, you love God? You want to show how you love God? What you should do to love God? Do you want the answer to that? Because you wear that to seem religious, to seem like you believe in God. That's why people wear it. Right. Get John 14, 15. Yeah. Let's see what we're supposed to do. Not wear a cross, not wear idols, right? God has given us clear ways to show that we love him, that yeah. we serve him. That's right. Read that. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Yeah. If ye love me, so Christ said, if ye love me, read, keep my commandments. He said, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. So guess what? You want to show that you love God? You start by keeping God's commandments, brothers. That's the truth. You do God's commandments? Okay, and you love God, right? So you're going to keep the commandments that God said to keep, correct? Okay, give me Leviticus 21. Ken, you love God as well too, right? Okay, so being that we are godly men, we love God, we're going to follow what God say to do. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Let's see what God said. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the first thing God said, he said, they, you know who the they is? The they is the children of Israel. That's who you are. You are a Jew according to the Bible. You descend from God's chosen nation. You are a son of God. So he said, tell my sons, read it again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So don't bald your head. You got a bald head under there? Good, don't bald it. Read, neither shall they shave. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Read that slow. Read it again. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So I have a question. Did God say not to shave off your beard just now? So you love God, right? So what you gonna stop doing? You're going to stop shaving your beard off. Because that's a commandment that God gave to us. And these are small things. Like today. Do y'all know what today is? Ken, you, you know what today is, don't you? The Sabbath day. Right. Did you know today is the Sabbath? No? Okay. Ken, what are we supposed to be doing on the Sabbath? I mean, outside of that, yes, of course we're supposed to do that. Not buying things. Uh-huh. You know, uh... Just, just worshiping the most high, studying and reading, you know, staying for fear with the most high. Correct, faith. correct. But did you hear what he just said? He said something key, not buying. Did you know that on this day, you're not supposed to be buying, selling, anything like that? Right. You knew that. So why are you going to that store, brother? Why not go to the store? If you know you're not supposed to be buying or nothing today. No, no, no. When God says buying, he doesn't mean like buying or buying. He doesn't mean that. What that means is how these people go out here and spend all their money shopping at these stores. Okay, so he's not talking about buying pie, though. Food we need. Okay, so you can buy food. Yes. Okay, now does the Bible say that? The Bible doesn't say you can. Okay, so we're going to show you. Watch this. Get that for me in Nehemiah. Bring it out. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land, so the people of the land in this case, you live in Las Vegas, Nevada. The people is going into the companies. The company is Mario's, okay? Just so we set the stage. So read. Bring where or any vittles. So if Mario brings any where, which inside that store they got where, merchandise, right? And vittles. Vittles is going into food. So if Mario brings where inside they store, off that truck, they bring food inside they store, off that truck. Read. And if the people of the land bring where or any vittles on the Sabbath day. So they open up on Saturday. They open the doors, read, to sell. They selling pies. They selling cake. They selling cookies. Right, they right. selling catfish. Right. Hold on. What are you supposed to do? Let's see. That we would not buy it of them yeah, on right. the Sabbath or on the holy day. Right. That's what God said. On this day, you're not supposed to buy nothing. Right. No, no, no. God said you're not supposed to buy anything. Did he say you can't eat? So what you supposed to do is the day beforehand, you do your shopping. You see what I'm saying? You get your pie the day before, before the Sabbath. So you don't got to go to the store. You understand? Just like Kent said. You listening, brother, as well, in the back? You listening as well? I see you over there. I'm talking to you, bro. 
Just pay attention. Just pay attention. I want to make sure you're listening, though. Right. So we're not supposed to be buying anything at all. That's what Brother Kent just said. How many, year, how many days in a year is the Sabbath? The Sabbath is every Saturday. The Saturday. To make it plain and simple for you. Okay? So guess what? You're not supposed to be buying today. And why is that? Why are we not supposed to be buying anything today? Why is that significant? But why? Why did God tell us not to do that? Get that for me in uh, Exodus. I want Exodus 31. Because this is the reason behind it. It's not for everybody. The Asian man can go by. He can do what he want to do. Right. The Arab man can do what he want to do. Right. The white man can do what he want to do. Right. But you, because y'all are the Israelites, right. God gave you that commandment. We're going to see why. Right. Read on. The book of Exodus, chapter 31 and verse 13. Right. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel. In case you didn't know, brother, you are an Israelite. You are not black. You are not African American. You are an Israelite. That is who this Bible is for. It's not for everybody. Read it again just to make sure he heard it. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel. So if you are not the children of Israel, I would not be speaking to you. I want you to understand, Kent, I would not be speaking to you. I would not be speaking to any of these brothers if you were not the seed of Israel. But you are. So listen, read, say, verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. So Israel... Y'all need to keep my Sabbath, black man in America. Keep my Sabbath because you are an Israelite. Read on. For it is a sign between me and you. Did you hear what that said? God said the Sabbath is a sign between me and you. Did he say the whole world? He said between me and your race. It is a sign. It's proof that we are the sons and daughters of God. That's why you don't see the whole world keeping a Sabbath. Because they're not his people. But his people don't know that they're supposed to keep it holy. You see that? Read on. Throughout your generations. And guess what? Do you have kids? Do you have kids? It said throughout your generations. Our responsibility as men is to teach this to our children. That you are not niggas. You are not spicks. Right. You understand? You are not uh, uh, just what society calls you. You are God's chosen people, the Israelites. And that the God of heaven and earth said you are so special that I'm going to take a whole day out the week and I'm going to dedicate it between me and you. You got a whole day dedicated to you and God. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!